basketball team is a premier program. Quite the understatement lately. The nationally ranked Minute Women sporting a thousand strikeout pitcher, one of the most respected coaches in the game, and oh yeah, they've won 44 games in a row in the A-10. Today they look to make it 45 and 46 as they played a doubleheader with St. Louis. To Windy UMass Complex we go. Minute Women wrapping up their seven game home stand before heading up the pike to BC later this week. Fourth inning, UMass getting batty. Samantha Salado and that's Salado power. Actually a bloop to left power. Kylie McGill, four, she comes in to score. UMass takes a 7-0 lead, but the story of the day, Brandis Balschman is filthy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen this young woman pitch, you really need to. 12 strikeouts, just two hits in five innings, totally dominant. Bottom five, runner on for Jessica Sirio, and Balschmitter's catcher helping her pitcher out by ending the game early. The double to left, Michelle Libby scores. UMass wins game one in the slaughter rule, 8-0. They'd win game two, 3-1. to one. So, 46 straight and counting, ridiculous. Now, in between games, University honoring their historic hurler for her 1,000 whips. It's a great honor. We work really hard. Um, myself and coach have been working together for a while trying to get to this milestone, so I'm hoping to keep going with it. I don't think we really talk about the streak. I think it's an understanding that like teams come out to beat us, um, come play a different game against us, step up their level, so we just need to keep pushing them back and keep doing what we do and play our game. Way to go, a great woman too. Meanwhile, the softball team, not the only ones on campus sitting on top of the A-10. Coach Alex Venechanos and the women's lacrosse team taking on George Washington in the battle for first place. Second half, UMass already up. Oh, a gajillion. That's Stephanie Hopkins for Megan Reddy. One of four assists for Reddy. UMass up 14-2. A little later, Jackie Lyons. The nice pass to Danielle Peltier. Lyons roaring as UMass media guy John Sennett likes to tell me. Another assist. This one back to Reddy. Lyons, three assists, five points on the day. The other big story in this one, the freshman goalie, Katie Flo Florence, nine saves, only let up three goals. This one was a clinic. UMass rolls 18-5. They're now a perfect 4-0 in the A-10. And that ties the best conference start for them in school history. Our schedule is very tough. We do a lot of Friday, Sunday games. We had a long game on Friday. And we tell them that, you know, keep fighting and keep working hard. We just come out. We have a game plan. Every time we are playing a team, we focus on what we need to do. And we've had great success so far. We're the underdog in a lot of games. And we like it. We just like to uh, show off what we've got and kind of upset teams. Lacrosse and things clicking on all cylinders for UMass, the 14th ranked Minutemen, the only undefeated team in the ECAC after their 12 6 win over St. John's yesterday over at Garber Field. Senior Tim Belize, you can't do better than Belize, his ninth career hat trick. Third time he's done that this season. Doc Schneider, nine saves and 11 shots, career low, two goals allowed. That's pretty good. UMass now 3 0 in the league, they're 6 3 overall, and the Doc says the team's following his prescription for success. Everyone's contributing. I mean, I'm going to keep saying that because, you know, it can't just be two or three guys. It can't be someone by themselves. It's got to be everyone helping out. Everyone's playing for each other. That's the main thing we talk about, to play for each other. And, you know, it's not just the guys on the field. It's the guys off the field in practice. You know, you know, have all those guys helping out, all 40 guys, and that's making something special. We just got to keep focusing on what we do at practice and just uh, focus on one game at a time. The UMass men's lacrosse team stumbled out of the gate, but remember, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, especially when on any given weekend in the ECAC, any team can win. UMass holding down the second place in the conference, this going into today, looking for their third straight win this afternoon. They were hosting St. John's and getting after it early. 5-1 UMass in the second quarter. Jimmy Conley comes around, fires at home. He had a hat trick on the day. 6-1, Conley 25 goals on the season. 6-1 still nice passing by the Minutemen. Art Kell with the goal. He had two on the day, 7-1. UMass. Late in the second, Doc Schneider, another solid effort in goal. Nine saves for him. And late in the second, Evan Blum beats a man one-on-one -on -one for the goal. Pretty goal. Eight to one. Timmy Belize of Wilbraham added four strikes for the UMass Minutemen. They double up St. John's 12-6 today. It is their third straight conference win. Uh, it feels really good. You know, everyone get a little bit more confidence, and uh, we just try to try to put this game behind us, start focusing on next week, get another one. St. John's a great team. Obviously, they're excellent, excellent coaching staff, and uh, they knew us well. We kind of knew what they were doing, so it kind of came down to, you know, us, our guys versus their guys. And uh, guys came out, you know, ready to go, and everyone contributed, and that's where you need to beat a good team. Great preparation this week uh, with Coach Kuhn, uh, you know, working with the defense and getting those guys ready to play. Our entire team really prepared well. Uh, through the week, and obviously they were ready to play today. All right, UMass now is 3-0 in ECAC conference play. They head to upstate New York next weekend to take on Hobart.